is Cheryl and I work on the digital inclusion team at the Nashville Public Library. Today I'm going to talk with you about how you can read and listen to books using your iPhone or your iPad. These kind of books are called ebooks or electronic books and the library has an app named Libby that lets you put these kind of books on your device. Libby has a lot of really cool features. You can put it on your iPhone, your iPad, all of your electronic devices in order to have access to the same collection of books as well as the books that you have checked out. You can even bookmark your page and it'll save your page across devices. You can download books using Libby and that means after initially using the internet to download them, you no longer need internet access in order to enjoy them. You can use Libby in your car to listen to audiobooks, and you can also use Libby with Kindle. However, the coolest thing of all is that Libby gives you access to this vast collection of library books 24-7. I checked this morning and there were over 99,000 books available for checkout. So with something that large, you're never ever going to have any problem finding a really good book to read. Now let's talk about what you need. Of course, you first need your iPhone or your iPad, and you'll need your trusty library card. If you don't have one of those and you're a Davidson County resident, in just a second, I want to tell you how you can get one. You're going to need the Libby app, and we'll download that together shortly, and you'll need internet access in order to download the app as well as to download items. Now, if you don't have a card, please go to our website, and that's library.nashville.org, and then you can tap at the very top on the right side. It says, Get a Card. And then it's going to walk you through the steps of how to get a digital access card. If you don't go to get the card here and you need one, you also have an opportunity to get it when we get on the Libby app. Now, I'm going to go kind of slow because I would love for you to follow along. So if you'll go to your home page of either your iPhone or your iPad, and I want you to tap on the App Store. And then to type in the word Libby. And that's going to bring up some suggestions. And I want you to choose the one that says Libby by Overdrive. And then it's going to show the app, Libby by Overdrive, and you're going to tap the word Get. Now, some people have their iPhones or iPads um, set to put in their Apple ID password or user touch ID in order to install an app. So if you need to do that, please do it. If you don't, you can just simply tap Install. And then hopefully we're just going to wait some seconds, maybe a few, maybe up to a minute. Um, and then we're going to tap the word open when it shows. And from now on, the Libby head is going to be on your um, device so that you can just tap that to go directly to Libby. Okay, now we need to sync our library card with the Libby app. So it's going to ask you some questions. The first one being, do you have a library card? And we're going to answer yes. If you didn't earlier get a library card and you don't have one, you can go ahead and tap Not Yet and it'll walk you through that process. Now we're going to tap I'll Search for a Library and you're going to put in your zip code. And that's going to bring up lots of branches and I want you to choose the main branch. You'll have better success with that and that's at the one that says 615 Church Street. And then we're going to enter our library account details. So we'll tap that and then we put in our library card number. And then we're going to tap next. And then we're going to enter our PIN. And for most people, the PIN is the last four numbers of their phone number. Um, however, if that doesn't work for you, you can call the library and we will help you reset your PIN. So then let's tap sign in. And that's what your Libby library card looks like. So what we're going to do next is put something on that card. So I'm going to tap next and that's going to take me to the home page. Now there are three buttons that I want you to know about so it'll help you get around on the app. If you look at the bottom, the first one is the library and that's what we're looking at right now. That's where you go to look for items. On the right side, you're going to see where it says shelf. And if you tap that, that takes you to where your items are, the things that you've checked out. And if you check, excuse me, if you tap the button in the center, that's going to take you to the item that you're currently reading. So it's super handy to have that button right there. Now let's talk about how to search for a specific item. So we have to be in the library to do that. And then in the upper left corner, you're going to see that little magnifying glass, or some people call it a search icon. 
So you tap on that to search for a specific item or a specific offer. So I'm going to tap something in there and then I'm going to tap in search. And then up pops things matching my search. And I want to point out one of these books is an audio book. It's the one that has the little earbuds and the word audio underneath it. So just so you know that. Now I'm going to tap the copy that I think I'll want. And then it's going to, uh, a description is going to pop up. So I'm going to read the description. And if I decide I do want this item, I'm going to tap borrow. Then I can decide how many days I want it, 7, 14, or 21. And 21 is the default. Now, if I'm a fast reader, I might choose 7 because that means that my book is going to go back to the library and another patron could have access to it quicker. If I'm a slow reader, which I am, 21 is probably a much better option. And one of the nice features of Libby is on that 21st day, my book is automatically going to come off my device, so I don't have to worry about doing anything to return it. So now I'm going to tap Borrow. And now I have to wait for my book to download. So that little line is going to go all the way around the circle and a little check is going to appear. And now I don't need the internet to read my book. It's been downloaded onto my device. I'm going to tap Open Book. And you can read it through Kindle or Libby. Today we're going to choose Libby. And there's my book. Now, there's a couple different ways you can turn the page. You can tap on the right, and that'll turn the page, or you can swipe to the left. I like to swipe. And if you want to go back in the book, you would do just the opposite. There are a few other settings that I'd like to tell you about. So if I tap in the center of the book, that's going to bring up the settings. At the bottom, I can slide my finger across, and I can go to different pages in the book. And then there's other settings at the top, the first one is a search setting where I can tap that and I can search for something specific in the book. The next one is for the appearance. And if I tap on that, I can change how the book appears. And I think I want to do that. That text is kind of small. So I can slide that small white box to the right and that's going to make my text bigger, which that's a bit better. And I can slide it back to the left to make it smaller. Underneath, it shows different um, light controls where I can control what the background light is like on my device. And then I'm going to tap it again to get back to the book, but I want to show you two more settings. So I'm going to tap the center again to go back to the settings. And the bookmarks and highlights are listed on that next little icon. And that's where I can see everything that I have bookmarked and highlighted. And then the very last little icon is where I can bookmark the page to hold my page. That's really important if I read using different devices. And if I read using the same device, if I only use my iPad to read books, then I don't have to do that because it will automatically save my page. Okay, now I'm going to tap the back arrow, and that would normally take me back to the book. But I'm going to go back to our home page because I want to show you other ways to look for books. There's an Explore button, so you can tap that. And that will take you to different categories or genres, so you can explore that way. Um, let's go back to the home page. So I'm going to tap the back arrow next to library. Now, there's another way that I like to explore or browse. The Libby librarians, they're always putting cool books on there. Um, they're featuring different things at different times. So it's kind of interesting to see what they're picking. So I like to go to the page, and I'll swipe up. And then it, can, it will show me, too, what's new in Libby what's popular, and normally these are those best sellers that you're going to have to get in line for and place a hold, and that's okay. As long as you're patient, you're going to get your item, and it'll even give you an estimate of how long you have to wait. And then my favorite category here is what's available, because usually if I'm browsing, I want to find something now to read. So this is only going to show me things that are available. Okay, now let's go look at our shelf so you can see where you go to to look at your items. So I have a couple items. I have an audio book checked out, and then I have a text-based book checked out. If I want to open it, next to the book you see where it says open, I would tap on that. Below that, where it says manage loan, if I want to return my item early, I could tap on that. And below it, it's going to tell me how many days that I still have the item available to me. Now, there, uh, I can get help. Also, on this particular page, by tapping the Libby head, it's located in the upper right corner, so I tap on that. You can see where it says on the right side, help and support. 
So I can uh, go there and ask Libby specific questions, or I can look at some general topics to get help. Well, I hope now you're really motivated to go out and download Libby and start reading lots of wonderful books. That's what my friend Charlene here did. Last time I talked to her, she had told me she'd already read 30 using Libby, and she was pretty proud of herself, and I was proud of her as well. Um, if you have any questions about how to use Libby or how to download the app or any questions about technology, please contact me at librarydigitalinclusion at nashville.gov. My name is Cheryl. I work at Nashville Public Library, and I wish you happy reading. Thank you.